Our next speaker tonight is Farah Dudane. Farah is going to talk on why we need and how to get a convention and arts centre. Farah is the managing director of the Big Cart Track and Ski and Surf, the fun attractions. A community without the arts is a community without a heart and soul. Farah is a solid businessman here and strongly believes in the future of the coast and thinks it's high time that we get serious about getting a world-class arts and convention centre so that we can keep growing the place in the sphere of fun and culture. As a committed lover of the arts, Farah has one of the biggest collections of Aboriginal art in Australia. His passion for culture and the arts is infectious. He also sponsors annually a major arts award at the University of the Sunshine Coast. Farah is going to advise us on how he believes we can get the Convention and Arts Centre. Ladies and gentlemen, Farah Dedane. Thank you very much. And Welcome everybody. We had some great people here before me talking about what we need, why we need it, but nobody talked about how. Let me explain you a little bit how we're going to do this. And if I can pull this off, I'm going to be a hero, I know. First of all, everybody talked about why. We all know why. And I concur with what the previous speaker said, especially with Alison, you're a champion for this. Thank you very much throughout these years that what you've done for it. And we're going to get there, believe me, we're going to get there. Um, what we need is still open. Michael Bloss has done fantastic studies in it. There's been some Bradbury or Ranbury reports and everything like that. The size of it, we can discuss. What we need, we know. The problem with it is that nobody talked about tonight is that don't build a square box like everybody else. Let's build something iconic. Let's build, no matter how many seats we need, no matter how many sport events we want, no matter how many uh, exhibition spaces we need, we need to build something that people come for, especially, even if it's just for the look outside of it. Rain has done a great concept already. Let's push it further. Let's, let's build an opera house type icon on the Sunshine Coast. Let's have something here on the Sunshine Coast that if large companies do not have a conference on the Sunshine Coast, they're not in. You have to be in and cool to have a conference on the Sunshine Coast. That is how you're going to attract people to the Sunshine Coast. That's how we're going to fill your seats, Michael. That is how we're going to push the economy on the Sunshine Coast. Build something iconic. Have a look around the world. The places that boom are the places with iconic buildings. You know, too many to name. Look what they're doing everywhere. It's possible. Now, of course, the question is how? People say, oh, great, Farrah. You know, you stand there saying, like, let's build something iconic. You know, where you're going to get the money from. The money is out there. It's, it's, on, it's, it's ready to be poured in. Believe me, the capital market is out there. Myself and several businessmen here on the coast are waiting for things to happen on the Sunshine Coast. We have the money. But we're not going to invest it in a Sunshine Coast that does not have, and tonight we're talking about the Arts and, and, and uh, Convention Centre, but the access to it as well. We want to change that car park called the Bruce Highway to something decent that they can come to us in the first place. We want to combine this with an international airport, which is high, high, highly necessary as well to combine it. We would, and we should, and we shall, combine this Arts and Convention Centre with a five-star international hotel, whatever the name is, whoever is interesting. Bear with me, I'm going to come to how we're going to do that. I'm still talking on what. But please, don't be discouraged about, oh, we only have that much money and we can only do this. No, 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 no. You go what you want, you go in something iconic, even if it's a billion dollars, who cares, all right? Let me tell you how. First of all, we're in a, unique, uh, in a unique situation at the moment that we have local, state, and federal government all agreeing on this. I was in a meeting a couple of weeks ago at the Tourism Forum. We had all the politicians in the room. Mel was there, the mayor was there, local councils were there, you know, the people were there. Everybody that can do something about this, they all were there and they all concurred and said, like, yes. And you know what? They all are willing to do it. Now, 
How are you going to go to a five-star hotel manager saying like, hey, mate, just built me this iconic thing? How are you going to go to capital investors saying like, hey, come into play with this, invest millions of dollars in this, we promise you a return? It's simple. You go, for instance, we've got Horton Park. The council will come. The council contribution, for instance, could be that they would give the facility of Horton Park at a very, very good deal. Cut red tape, no rent for so long, whatever it needs to be worked out, it needs to be worked out. A lot of people forget that it's there. That's what they bought it for. State and federal will come in and push it because they know also that whilst they're building that, that international, um, sorry, the, uh, the, um, um, the hospital at Kiwana and talking about an international access on the, on the, um, on the airport, we will make sure that this art centre and convention centre, exhibition centre, sports centre, whatever you want to call it, will work. But believe me, don't put a dog there like they have on the Gold Coast. I'm sorry to say this, but that thing is ugly. Okay? People always say, like, oh, we don't want to be like the Gold Coast. Of course we don't want to be like the Gold Coast. We want to be more beautiful. We want to be more you know, iconic. We want, to, we want to get the real things happening. The real soul of the Sunshine Coast needs to come here. And we can do it. Money is ready there. This is investment market. People say, like, oh, the economic, the economic times money out there, they're not going to go to the stock market. They will be looking in something like this. If you give them a good proposal, if you say to me, hey, we're going to do this, we're going to give you good conditions, we'll cut red tapes, we'll do some infrastructure there for you, the land is there, the five-star hotel comes in. The five-star hotel, if you give them something iconic, they would love to be on board because they will make it their feature destination. Can you, can you imagine having, say, for instance, names like Hilton or Hyatt or whoever it is, coming to the Sunshine Coast, making the Sunshine Coast property their iconic property. That will attract people. Square boxes, no matter what the capacity, no matter what you use it for, is not going to do it. Build something beautiful. As I said before, the, um, the concepts there are there. Go back to the, uh, the uh, drawing boards, Mr. Rayner, or Mr. Cox, whoever is doing it, because it's not iconic enough. We need more. Well done, but we need more. Even, even if, if I may say so, you know, I just put it out as an international concours to architects. Get, get your Garys involved, get your Fosters, get everybody involved. You know, we have beautiful, fantastic architects here on the Sunshine Coast. I live in an architectural designed house. Why? Because it makes my life so much better. I like going home. It's beautiful environment. That's what we need to create. We need to create an environment where people, not only they are proud of it, but they want to see it, they want to come. If you don't do that, you're going to be one of the many that's going to fail. I'm pretty sure that the Gold Coast Convention Center is not booming. You build something iconic here, it doesn't matter how much it costs, we will get the money here with the help of all levels of, of, uh, of government. It is feasible, I promise you. And everybody else who has business on the Sunshine Coast will reinvest on the Sunshine, in the Sunshine Coast. I'm a big investor in the Sunshine Coast. I've been doing business here for the last 25, 30 years. I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to go to where was it, Cairns, and say it's better over there. Because it's not. It's here. Okay? But if we don't do anything like, don't, like iconically, we don't extend the, uh, the Bruce Highway, we don't build an international gateway to, to our destination, this place will become a ghost town. And quicker than you think. Money will go elsewhere where they think big. Small-minded people talk about people. Average-minded people talk about things. Great-minded people talk about great ideas and dreams and realize them. Imagine the word earth and take art, the word art out of it. What do you got left? Eh. And that's what it will become if we don't do anything. Thank you very much.